Hello, Libra. We're getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you at this time, Libra. Ooh, Five of Swords taking a stand. All right. Some of you are feeling overwhelmed, but you're going to make a decision. You're going to do something that's for you, that's best for you. Make, you know, a choice that it might be secretive, might be with a Sagittarius. Let me see. All right. All right. Let me see here. So it kind of feels like some of you are putting up with something with a ton of wands. Could be anything. But you're going to do something for yourself, five of swords, seven of swords. I feel like some of you may sneak off on a little getaway with someone or you may, you know, start dating someone new or something here. What is the tower down here for this person? Oh, ten of cups. Oh, wait a minute. This person is getting divorced. So this is kind of a specific reading for someone. Someone is paying money out, buying a, not buying a lawyer, paying for a lawyer. Um, okay, wow, this is very specific, but you're excited. So somebody you're dating is making their big move to leave a relationship. They're paying the, they're paying the lawyer. They're maybe buying a new apartment so the two of you can be together. This is weighed on you. You're excited. This might be secretive probably as well. May not be for you. Uh, Seven of Swords, though, Temperance. You're excited, so you have to kind of like calm down is kind of what I'm getting here. Because uh, this is my divorce card. Ending, ending a contract, going to the courts, getting the lawyer, Ten of Cups long term. So this is someone taking action. So whoever is viewing, and this is resonating for, because this, again, this is the new beginning. This is the old relationship, Ten of Cups. At the end of it, Four of Wands, a new beginning, building it. So you have been waiting for this, or it could be this person you're dealing with is overwhelmed, Ten of Wands. They've been dealing with this. Now finally, like, fuck it, Five of Swords. I'm going to, you know, file the paperwork. I'm going to go get the lawyer. I'm going to, you know, start the divorce. Where is it going? New love. So this person is telling you the truth. You're like, well, what's in that cup? What's coming in that cup for me after this person files? A brand new beginning, Ace of Cups. Four of Wands. So this is actually very nice, very specific, like I said, but very nice for someone. Maybe we can. It might be with a uh, Libra specifically, maybe a Scorpio, maybe a Taurus to nail it down a little bit for someone viewing. Temperance. You're excited, but I get like you have to like calm down, be patient, wait. Yeah, Four of Swords. That's what it's kind of getting there. Moon. So you guys. There is, for someone, there may be some secrecy around this. You might also be married. Or maybe you're the one filing or something. But um, it could be a Pisces. But there's something here about a new beginning. Kind of getting like you may not know that they're, they're getting this new place for the two of you. Or you don't know where it's at. Yeah, this person is completely ready to move on. Which is nice for you. Yeah, look at that. You guys have a new beginning. So I'm getting that this is someone you've been dating with for a while. Maybe they've been talking about getting a divorce or leaving. They just haven't. I feel like it's caused some stress and pressure in your relationship. They're finally coming through. And now the two of you get to be, be together, Ace of Swords. Uh, you may not be talking to each other right now. Because sometimes when I see Ace of Swords, it is like a breakup. And then coming back together and really wanting to work on it. Really wanting to be together. Eight of Coins under there. Really wanting to fix it. What is the moon? Okay, they told me just now it's something about what prompted this person to finally make the move. So there's been some things going on with this other person in the background that you didn't know about. Or they just didn't tell you all the details. It's been very heavy for them. So there was like a fight. There was something that finally caused this ending to where they're like, they're just, they're done. What is this moon energy? It's a seekin. Yeah, they're happy. They're moving on. So again, you may not know how they feel. So maybe this is a reading to show you, you know what? They're excited, Six of Wands, to be with you, to leave this other situation. There's no remorse. There's no regret here. Uh, there's no sadness. They want to be with you. They want to offer you a cup. They want a new beginning. I get for some of you, you're going to hear, like they're going to text you and tell you some of this. Not, not a lot in a text, just a simple text. But you may have to wait. You don't get to see them in person for... A few days or a week or something like that so that's kind of like rough right you want to know the details what's going on they're on a business trip maybe, maybe they don't have cell phone service something like that four stores one more for you yeah there's your offer page of cups communication so again this person very happy you're gonna be happy hanged man wheel of fortune the sun 
gosh, it is so clear. Under the deck is the five of coins. So this person has been feeling out in the cold, whoever you've been dealing with. They're ready to get out of the situation. It's been lonely. They, they have been, I just heard dragging their feet. I don't know if it was them or their spouse or someone, but they're just tired of being in this a state of suspension, married to someone else when they're in love with you. Bottom line. It's so clear. So I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Have a fantastic week, and I'll talk to you soon.